Hi everybody! Today I want to show you how to use this wonderful tool from Imagine Us called the iTop. Uh, it is a great tool and what it is used for, it is used for making your own custom brads. Um, by using pieces of pattern paper or felt or fabric or any of those in this tool, you can make brads. And you can see they come in different sizes and you can even make your own little pins. I really like this one right here. That's pretty cool to be able to make a, a pin. It's very easy to use and how it comes is it has a tool and then you are able to purchase different size pieces and parts that you want. So this one here I have the medium brad daddies and they have the top and the base to the brad daddies. And it says up at the top it says it'll make eight 22 millimeter brads. So then I know that I need this 22 millimeter punch and I love how clearly they're labeled. So every different size brad that needs a different size it's labeled. So what I've done is I have taken a piece of pattern paper and I have punched out the size that I need to make my medium brad. There are a couple different head sizes that come on the tool and they're very easy to change out. You just unscrew them and move them to the side you need. Now if you get into some of the larger sized um, brads and badges like these, you'll get a different set of heads and you can just change them out. All It's very easy to do. So I'm going to show you how to use the medium one. I'm going to start with putting my top piece over, and I'm going to try to hold this so you can see it, this part right here. I'm going to make sure that that's sitting nice and settled. And then I'm going to take my punched out piece of pattern paper and I'm going to set it over the top. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that all the way around the edge here that I have everything even. I don't want to have one side closer than the other. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to look and it looks pretty good. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to squeeze it. I'm going to squeeze it and I'm going to push down on this top silicone rubbery ring here. And I'm just going to push down a little bit to make sure that everything is together and I'm going to release and that's going to stick into the top. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to push down all these little tabs. And one thing I learned is that I need to push down all the tabs all going the same direction because if you crisscross it ends up making not as nice of a brad with pattern paper. So I'm going to continue to just turn my tool around and push all the pieces down the same way. Now I'm going to go back with my tool the way it was before and I'm going to take my brad base piece. This has a little hole in the bottom of it and the brad piece, the fastener part, just slides right down in there. And I'm just going to set that on there. And again, I'm going to squeeze the tool closed. And you heard the little pop noise, and that means it's together. So it's been put together, so I'm going to peel back the rubber on the top, and I'm going to pull out my new way too cute and perfectly customized brad for my next project. I love this. I love that I can make everything to match and coordinate exactly the way I want. So there you go. A very quick and easy tutorial on how to use the Imagine Us iTop tool. Have fun!